The UK left the EU political structures in the European Parliament on January 31st in 2020. I talk a lot about this on my main channel. But the EU, of course, moved forward after the UK left with Brexit. But what happens in the EU today? One of those topics I have for you in this video. The EU Commission published its proposal to set catch limits or total allowable catches, so-called TACs, for 18 fish stocks in the EU waters of the Atlantic Ocean, the, the Kattegat and Skagerrak, for 2024. The proposal is based on scientific advice and covers fish stocks managed solely by the EU in those sea basins. For the first time, the Commission is proposing to set nine TACs for two to three years, known as multi-annual TACs, instead of re-evaluating them annually, based on advice from the scientists of the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea, that's the ICES. And following ICES advice again, the Commission is proposing to set 12 TACs at uh, MSY, that's Maximum Sustainable Yield, that means the maximum amount of fish that fishers can take out of the sea without compromising the regeneration and future productivity of the stock. This would mean an increase in catch limits for five stocks, that's megrims, anglerfish, hake, horse mackerel in Iberian waters and place in Kattegat. For place in the Kattegat, the Commission proposes an increase of 19%. For Hague in the southern bay of Biscay, Iberian waters and waters around the Azores, the proposal is for an increase of 10% in accordance with the Western Waters multi-annual plan. For migrims and angler fish in the Iberian waters, the Commission proposes an increase by 11% and 7% respectively. Nine TACs have been proposed for two or three years ahead instead of on a yearly basis with a reduction to ensure sustainable catches in the long term. The stocks concerned are those of Place in the west of Ireland, Whiting and Pollock in the Bay of Biscay, Place in the Iberian waters, Norway Lobster in the Bay of Biscay and Seoul in Irish waters and Seoul in Iberian waters. In 2023, ICS reiterated that the status of the stocks remain critical and there should be zero catches of eel in all habitats and at all life stages. Pending the new ICS advice for 24, expected in November, the Commission proposes to maintain the existing measures for the protection of eels in all relevant EU waters, specifically in the Atlantic, the Baltic Sea and the Mediterranean. The closure in the Northeast Atlantic should cover the main migration period of the respective life stage. In the Skagara, Kattegat and Baltic Sea, the closure periods should be agreed between the member states concerned, so as to ensure the protection of eel migrating out of the Baltic Sea into the North Sea. As for the Mediterranean Sea, the proposal might be updated after the 2023 annual meeting of the General Fisheries Commission for the Mediterranean to take into account possible additional measures for the Mediterranean adopted at that meeting especially. And this proposal will be updated after the conclusion of the ongoing consultations with Norway and the United Kingdom and with the decisions taken in various regional fisheries management organizations. Another five stocks, managed solely by the EU, are still awaiting scientific advice. That's anchovy in the Bay of Biscay, three stocks of Norway lobster and cod in the Kattegat. While the TAC for anchovy in the Iberian waters and waters around the Azores has already been set until June 2024. Figures for the TACs for which scientific advice is not yet available or for what, which consultations with non-EU countries are ongoing are currently marked in the proposal as pro memoria. These figures will be included in the proposal when the advice becomes available or the consultations are concluded through so-called non-papers and they will be published by the Commission. The Council will discuss the Commission's proposal on December 11th and 12th and establish the allocation of fishing opportunities for 2024 and in some cases for 25 and 26. The regulation should apply as of January 1st, 2024. Fishing opportunities or total allowable catches, those TACs, are set for most of Europe's commercial fish stocks in order to keep their status healthy or to help them regenerate. 
while ensuring that EU fishers have healthy fish stocks to rely on for their economic activities. Under the common fisheries policy, EU member states are legally bound to manage fish, fish stocks at sustainable levels. Sustainable fishing has made substantial progress in the EU. In 2022, 80% of the TACs were set at MSY level, allowing for a healthy future of the stocks and for fishers to rely on them, compared to only 14% of TACs in 2009. And the Commission proposal is based on scientific advice from the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea, as I said, this ICES. For stocks with a full scientific assessment, the Commission is proposing fishing, fishing levels in line with MSY advice. For stocks for which less data is available, the Commission proposal is based on, yeah, let's say, precautionary advice. And stakeholders were consulted based on the Commission's annual communication towards more sustainable fishing in the EU. The state of play and orientations for 2024, it's called. Taken into account the application of the landing obligation, the Commission is proposing TACs on the basis of the ICES catch advice. And the proposed EU quotas take account of discards based on established exemptions. These quantities will not be landed and counted against the quotas and are therefore deducted from the EU quotas. Pending the entry into force of the delegated regulations specifying details of the implementation of the landing obligation for certain fisheries in 2024, EU quotas are marked uh, as PM in this proposal. And moreover, for stocks for which ICS provides only landing advice, the Commission is proposing TACs on the basis of that advice. And if you want to know more, the next video is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.